We met in a, in a um, cute way um, many, many years ago, like in the 18th century, when Roz and I were starting our careers, I had my first article published in the Atlantic magazine, and it was illustrated by Roz. I didn't know Roz at the time. It was a fabulous um, illustration. and. When it was published, my mother called and she said, I read your article. Uh, I love the illustration. You should <laughs> call the illustrator, which is a kooky idea, but I did because I do everything I'm told. And um, we've been on that play date ever since. Yes, it was kind of, it was very so, much like her mother like said, that, 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 like, that girl is six, you're six, you know, Call her. Be friends. Goodbye. Yeah. So, yeah. I will say that the book about Roz and my relationship would be kind of boring because we've never had an argument. And so there's no dramatic kind of um, tension, unfortunately. We've never really, nothing. Well, we there's kind also. We don't disagree about temperature all the time. No, we do, really. But the thing is, one thing that I think makes our particular relationship work is we also don't live with each other. And many of the things in this book are about, it's not so much uh, just like people's temperaments and like how they get along, because that could just apply to almost any relationship that a person has with another person, people you work with, whatever. It's like how you actually share your living space with somebody. And there's a lot of fights that come from that, yeah. I think. Yeah, but we, temperature. Yeah. we've shared um, plane rows and train rows and we've done very well. Oh yes, but we're both very good at, at we're, we're both very picky about spots in the airport where you're waiting for the plane. And <laughs> fortunately, we have very similar taste. Yes, in and, like and setting I'll up let... camp <laughs> at the airport, you know? It's very important. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're traveling with somebody who doesn't care where, where they sit, that can be a deal breaker. We also have our share an interest, a somewhat called a neurosis, um, for getting to an airport or a train station extremely early, like a oh, week. Yes. Early. yes, yes, yes. There's nothing like being with somebody who likes who. My mother used used to use the word brinksmanship, <laughs> where you leave just exactly <gasps> enough time to get someplace if yeah. nothing goes wrong at all, yeah. and or they don't even mind being late. Fire. <laughs> Eternal hellfire. That fire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. God. Being trapped in a mall underground. Yeah. <laughs> being, being trapped in like Penn Station <laughs> forever. <laughs> Throwing a blackout. Yeah. Yeah. The end. It's like. Cinnabon after yeah. Cinnabon after <laughs> Auntie Annie's pretzels. Yeah. Have you ever seen those places at the mall? And it's like, and, what is that? Yeah. Like, and then who it was would, ever in the mood for that? Yeah. I think they're, they're just there to smell things up. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I understand Cinnabon more than I understand Auntie Annie's pretzels. And they say, with mustard. And it's like, who ever want oh no wait start we're about to have our first fight i'm from philadelphia mustard belongs on pretzels just oh okay it does okay. i mean you anti -mame. Know, anti mames you could argue that anti mame is not really selling a pretzel though 
Well, if it was anti-mame pretzels, that might be a different thing. It would probably come with like a shot of something on the side, which I would understand. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Anti-Annie is just like... Wait, is Auntie Anne or Annie? Annie. Like Annie. Annie. <laughs> I wish it was little Auntie Orphan Annie, but it's just <laughs> li Annie. Auntie Annie. What is, I don't even know what or, it is. Maybe no, it's Auntie, 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 Annie. Favorite one, it might be the, the temperature one in the book. The one about the oh, uh, yeah. beverages. <laughs> turning the thermostat secretly up a degree uh, or down a degree until one of you dies. Yeah. And I, because I think my husband and I have had this particular fight endlessly, you yeah. know, and those kind of weird secret, I don't even know if you could call them fights. They're just kind of like, I like it at about like 70, 71. And because he's from Minnesota, he'd probably like it at like 45. So we've compromised at 69. Um, <laughs> junior high sense of humor. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, we, I mean, it, it, temperature is, is a big thing. Um, I think there's also this, the amount of stuff in the oh, house. Yeah. Like yeah. there's always one person who's the thrower outer and the other person is the saver. I'm the thrower outer. You know, not that we don't have a lot of crap around the house, as you can see. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I would be just very happy to kind of, you know, out out with it. Um, and sometimes I do, secretly. Oh, we all do. I yeah. can't really um, speak to my favorite because I haven't read the book yet. But you've spoiled it. I've spoiled <laughs> it. I've, spo I've given it away. Um, yeah. Fun. This was I, fun. And I don't say I don't say I don't use the word fun much. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither of us do, except when we find exactly the right spot at the airport. Yeah. Then we can get yeah. really excited, like yeah. really happy about it. It's kind of yeah. sad. <laughs>